Welcome back from an ad break. Uh, we're going to just do a quick recap on everything that we've covered in this particular topic, the topic on impact of recent legislations on businesses. And our focus was on triple BEE. We looked at the purpose, the impact, the actions regarded as discriminatory. We looked at the penalties for non-compliance. We also looked at the ways to comply. So this is our basic five. Right, there afterwards we looked at our special aspects under this particular topic. We've got two special aspects. We looked at the BEE versus triple BEE. We looked at the five triple BEE pillars. So this is everything that we've covered in this topic. Right, these are the new words. We're just going to recap on the new words that we've learned throughout this lesson. We spoke about the affirmative action and we did emphasize that it is the policy and process of providing preferences and employment opportunities for the previously disadvantaged people. We looked at the triple BEE scorecard. We said the scorecard measures a business's compliance with the triple BEE and a certificate is issued to the business that stipulates their triple BEE rating. Lastly, we looked at discrimination. We said it's the intentional, unjust, or prejudicial, or differential treatment of people or social groups based on the groups on the grounds rather of race or age or gender or sexual orientation or disability or religion so we also have the common errors now so with the common errors this basically speaks about the mistakes that learners are making in this particular uh, topic. So we need to avoid that by all costs. So what are those errors that learners normally make? Identifying the incorrect act due to the lack of understanding of the key terminology. So it's very important because you know when we start with the legislation we speak about its purpose. So it's very important that you understand those key terminologies so that you are able to identify the act correctly. Right. Secondly, we spoke about the implications. So what are those implications? Remember we spoke about the implications of the, of the pillars, right? The implications refer to what the business can do to apply each pillar and the barriers or limitations that prevents the business from implementing each pillar, right? After the implications, we also looked at the ways in which a business could apply the revised five pillars. Please take note, it's five. Five pillars, not three, not seven. Ways in which a business could apply the revised five pillars of triple BEE in the workplace, it refers to what the business can do to apply each pillar. How can a business apply this? How can a business apply management control by making the black people be able to, um, to make decisions? including them in decision-making of the business, right? We also mentioned that BEE is a policy, whereas triple BEE is an act. Remember, we did say triple BEE versus BEE. So you must distinguish the differences between the two. So I hope you understood everything that we've covered in this beautiful topic, right? So I'm going to leave you with something very easy. Well, it's a challenging, just to challenge yourself and see if you understood the entire topic. So what you need to do for us, or for me rather, you need to evaluate the impact of the triple BEE on businesses. Don't forget what we mean by impact. You need to evaluate the impact and then that way you'll be able to understand whether, uh, to know rather whether you understand the topic or not. But I'm definitely sure that you understood the topic. Right, I'm going to see you next time. Goodbye. <music>